everyone, welcome back to the Beta TV studio for today's live episode of Beta Insider. I'm your host, Noelle, and today we are going to be joined by Melissa Gad, who is the head of community and partnership partnerships at Tony's. Now I have the Tony's starter set with me here and a couple of the Tony's as well. Melissa's gonna walk us through how the product works. This is a phenomenal product for children, um, especially right now, you know, everything is so virtual. We're spending lots of time in front of the screen. Well, this is a way to engage them, to stimulate their imagination without a screen. And believe me, I mean, for all the parents out there, all the adults, you're gonna love this product too. So let's bring Melissa in now to the conversation to tell us more. Hi, Melissa, how are you? Hi, Noelle, good, how are you doing? Doing so well and so excited to have you here. Um, so let's get into the conversation, uh, kind of going back to the beginning. Now, I know that Tony's was founded by two fathers um, who met uh, through their children um, who went to the same nursery school together, Patrick and Marcus. Um, so tell me kind of uh, what inspired them to create this product? Yeah, so Patrick and Marcus, as you said, met through their children's nursery school and they were kind of from the cassette tape generation and their kids um, were using CDs at school and CDs at home to listen to nursery rhymes, things like that. and. Mm -hmm. They thought the CD, CD player and CDs have been around for 30 years at this point. And is, is that really the best we can do? And for young children, um, I have a 28 month old myself, two, three, four year olds, CDs are not friendly for, for young children. Obviously they can break, they can get scratched. And it's not something a child would be able to operate themselves. So they kind of came together um, as an engineer and a designer and said like, there has to be a better way here. And what can we do for our kids? Um, and when they looked out there for options, really everything had a screen. There were there were tablets at that point in time around 2014, but they really didn't want to put a, a screen necessarily in the hands of their very young children. And so they sought right. to create something themselves that would be screen free, but still electronic, still engaging, still taking advantage of modern technology. And they created the Tony Box and launched it in Germany in 2016. Amazing. Um, yeah, and I was going to say, I'm glad you you brought up Germany because it is a German company mm -hmm. um, and has is the fastest growing toy company in Europe at the moment, which is amazing. Um, I know it launched here in the U.S. back in September. So what do you think it is about the, the brand itself um, that appeals so much to kids and parents alike in both Europe and the U.S.? Yeah, so I mean, we've been really fortunate um, to have an amazing reception in the US in such a short time. Um, we were featured on The View around the holidays. We were recently named Fast Company's Most Innovative 2021 in the education category. So great wow. reception here. But yes, the, the Tony mania started in Germany and spread across Europe. Um, they launched in the UK in 2018. That was the first English speaking market. And I think what's captured families is I don't think there's a there's not a fear of technology, but there is a fear, I think, of screens and parents giving their young children too much screen time. And Tony's really combines the best of both worlds, which is that it is cutting edge technology, but it also right. doesn't overstimulate with the use of screens. So really the the key the key functions of this product, it being screen free, it fosters independent play in young children, which I think is really compelling to families. A child two, three, or four years old can use this product. Um, I started with the company, my daughter was about 19 months and she took this product out of the box and instantly knew how to use it. So it's really very intuitive wow. to young children. And it right. so it em empowers them to control their, their user experience. It's really like we think of it as the child's first device and it's something that they can feel empowered to use and they can kind of control their audio adventure and let their imaginations run wild. So I think that's really compelling to parents. For the children, um, I think a lot of it is about the characters. We have really phenomenal licensing partners, which I'm sure we'll speak more about later, but we have a, a strong relationship with Disney. So we have a ton of Disney characters like Toy Story and Lion King. And yes. obviously children see their favorite characters and they instantly want to play with them. Um, we're really the leader, the pioneer in this category. Um, it is now a whole category of screen-free audio devices for children. But I think what really sets us apart are these phenomenal Tonys, these phenomenal figurines. Um, they're crafted and hand painted in Tunisia. It takes us yeah. to bring a new one to market, sometimes 18, 18 months to two years. And they're really extremely detailed and lovely collectibles in their own right. So the child really can have an experience of using the Tony, taking it off the box and, and 
engaging in pretend play, which I think really sets us apart from other audio devices, which might just have little little flashcards or, or something like that, mm-hmm. something flat, something 2D. So I think for the children, that that's really compelling. And again, I think they appreciate like being able to have that independence and, and build their confidence. Definitely. And now how old is your daughter now? So my daughter is 28 months now. So she's been using, basically, I've been with Tony's for almost nine months, and she's been using the product kind of that whole time. Um, And it's really amazing to see kind of how her change in her taste in the content changes over time and like what she gravitates towards. Um, We recently launched a Tony um, with counting songs in six languages, and she's been incredibly engaged in that. So just like the exposure to Arabic and French and German and Tagalog, like that, that's something that she's experiencing at a really young age. And it's just amazing to see that light bulb kind of go off and see, see what appeals to the child at a given point in their development. Yeah. Now for the parents, what are they getting when they purchase the Tony starter set for their child? Great question. So um, this is my Tony box right here. And I just want to kind of highlight what like the way it works and what it looks like. But Mm -hmm. what's really key here is it's super, super soft. So it's hard to see on camera, but I'm actually squeezing it. It's all kind of coated in foam. It's extremely soft. Um, My daughter has thrown this across the room. It's really (laughs) meant to kind of be very durable for a a toddler and also very soft so they can't hurt themselves. There's no sharp edges here. There's really nothing um, that's going to hurt the child. And then On the bottom, you'll see that there is a place to charge it. So the starter set comes with the box itself, which is basically the speaker system. Um, It comes with a charger. It has a seven hour battery life. So basically the parent can charge us overnight and it's good for a full day of play. The child never really has to engage with the charger at any point. And then it's going to come with one creative Tony. So when we talk about the Tonys, so this is the Tony box and then the Tonys are the figurines. And there's two kind of flavors of Tonys. There's content Tonys and creative Tonys. So the content Tonys are most of what you see in front of me, which are these little characters like Woody from Toy Story or the Gruffalo, which is a very popular children's book for all the parents out there. And then there's creative Tonys and creative Tonys have are are a blank Tony. So while the other Tonys come with maybe 30 to 60 minutes of songs or stories from characters, Mm -hmm. the creative Tony is a 90 minute blank. And so the parent can use, we have an app called My Tonys, and the parent can use that to kind of populate this creative Tony with content. And that's been incredibly compelling, I think, to families, especially during COVID. There are so many loved ones that haven't gotten to see each other for a long time. This is phenomenal for grandparents to be included as well in the experience. Essentially, anyone can be invited to your My Tonys household and provide an audio file to be downloaded onto the creative Tony. So... I mean, there's so many amazing applications for this. Um, a grandparent can read a favorite story to the child, and then it can go right onto the child's creative Tony for bedtime. We've spoken to families where one parent is deployed with the military and is able to kind of give good night messages to their child when they're not away. I've spoken to, to working moms who are using this for when they're away on business trips. So there's so many applications. And then as the child gets older, they can really populate this with their content. So they make up silly songs and stories. Um, as they get older, especially children interested in creative writing, they can write a story and then they can really immortalize this and put it put it on their creative Tony and listen back to their their stories. So the creative Tony is really a core part of the Tony's experience. And so one of those is included in every Tony box starter set. Um, and it's just in basically a little color match jumpsuit. So this is kind of our our flagship creative Tony. Yes. So cute. Um, and I know that the creative Tonys, there are other creative Tony um, options. There's what? Fairy. Um, what are yeah, some so of the other? Here's yeah. our fairy. Um, we also currently have a pirate and a vampire. Um, the vampire was very popular, sold out well before Halloween and people were buying it well after we restocked it around Christmas time and people were still very into the vampire. Um, we have many more of these coming. In terms of our total library in the US, we have a little over 30 content and creative Tonys right now. Um, and in Germany, we have over 300. So we have a very aggressive launch plan plan for these in the US and we'll continue to roll out in some months, three or four new Tonys. Um, and really it will expand to be a specific US library, um, well beyond just the Disney licensing relationship and sort of our own characters. We're going to be bringing in tons of new licenses from popular early childhood shows in the US, popular children's books. So there's so much more to come there and definitely more creative Tonys on on different sort of themes. Awesome. Well, I've had a ball 
<laughs> trying this out and playing it with my uh, playing with it myself. I mean, truly, I'm like, I wish that this was you know available when I was a child. Um, but even as a, an adult, I'm like, this is so fun, and I would love for you to show us kind of how it works so that people get an idea of just how fun and engaging it is. Yes, absolutely. So with our Tony box to wake yes. it up, we're going to squeeze the big ear. We have a little small ear and a big ear, so you squeeze the big ear. And you hear that really satisfying little sound, and the green light goes on on the top. That means our box is on. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is kind of choose my own adventure, choose a content Tony. So if I bring on, for example, my Lion King, and then I hit it to switch tracks. Akuna Matata. I can see what's happening. Welcome to the Pride Lands. When I remove it, it stops playing. Now, as you heard there, um, our, all of our Disney Tonys sort of have a similar format of about four songs from the movie, usually the greatest hits. And then uh -huh. it goes into an abridged version of the story. So in the case of the Disney Tonys, there's a story and a song typically, and songs. And then we have ones like, for example, this is the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo is going to be just the story. And kind of a fun. <laughs> Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. And it's going to go through Shepard. the story. Red. Again, when I remove it, it stops playing. Now, if I put my Tony back on, sometimes the children take it off. They're engaging in pretend play. They put it back on. It picks up right where it left off when I put it back on. If okay. I switch, if I switch Tonys, then it'll start from the beginning. So we have our little Toy Story here. It's very cute. And we can hit again, switching tracks. And besides hitting one way to get to the next track, you hit the other way, goes back. To go back. Okay. We can also turn it at a 45 degree angle to rewind and fast forward. And then the other function is the big ear volume goes up, the small ear volume goes down. Goes down. Um, wow. Other key things, um, there is a headphone jack on the top of the Tony box. This okay. works with any headphones, but we actually just launched our own, um, which are right here, which are really exciting. They're basically like almost like a Bose for children, really high quality collaboration yeah. with a company called Buddy Phone. They are foldable. They're essentially indestructible. The really cool feature about them is they have a little jack where you can daisy chain up to four pairs together and children can share a box, which is really lovely. They come with stickers to kind of customize the experience. They have really great decibel control in terms of being safe for children's ears, which I think is the most important function there coming from a parent's perspective. So those are really phenomenal. We're excited about them. But yes, the, the core functions of the box remain the same, whichever Tonys you're using. And then it's really about the child choosing their own adventure, sort of gravitating to what they're interested in. Besides sort of the Disney type figurines and stories like the Gruffalo, we have our own characters. Mm -hmm. This is our playtime songs puppy, which is very mm -hmm. popular. And this plays the wheels, wheels on, on the, the bus. bus. <laughs> Happy and you know it. And, and this one is that. all songs, and this is about an hour. So this is one of our most okay. popular. Um, wow. We also have a bedtime songs and lullabies version of this one that's sort of like the polar opposite, the calm down. Um, and I think that's what's really compelling, too, is families have really integrated this into their routines and figured out what works for them. So some families have told me my child kind of gets up between six to seven, and it's like an hour of quiet time that they have before I kind of get up and come in and start the day with them. Some families are using this sort of for a routine of they listen to the same song or they listen to the same story every night before bed. Um, some families right. use this for various transitions throughout the day for kind of playtime, for quiet time. So it's really all about figuring out what, what works for the individual family, but we're really hearing from a lot of families that this is a great part of their routine. Um, it doesn't emit any blue light, so fully screen free and not emitting blue light. So it's not something that will be disruptive of nap time or bedtime in any way, which is really important. And it's just a nice sort of balance between being interactive, but not being overstimulating for the child. And I think, I mean, there are so many three or four year olds who are in Zoom preschool right now and who are on yeah. screens for hours a day already. So we don't want right. to 
add on to that. We want to kind of offer an alternative to families. Um, and we definitely are believers that there is certainly a time and a place for screen time, but just about offering that balance and also just offering families something, something else, an alternative that's engaging, but um, limits, limits the screen use. Yeah, definitely. Well, and when I was, you know, listening to those abridged versions of the Disney movies and the storytelling, I mean, just the, the imagery is so vivid that while, you know, nothing, I think, I mean, the, the movies are so beloved um, and they're, you know, we all love them. We all know them. I think children, right, love to watch their favorite movies on repeat. Yeah. But this is such a great way, I think, to get them engaged, to get their brains thinking completely differently. Mm -hmm. And it really is just as stimulating and engaging as watching the movie. And I think even more so. Um, just really, I think that the audio is so beautifully mixed um, and just really, really fun to listen to. Like I said, even as an adult, I'm like, I could just sit on the couch and listen to the stories at the end of a long work day because it's really kind of soothing um, and it gets your brain doing something different, which is, which is great. Um, so what are the most, you mentioned the vampire was very, very popular around Halloween. What are some of your other most popular Tonys? So definitely the puppy um, in terms of our mm -hmm. characters, the puppy probably followed by it's a little it's a little cat which plays like twinkle twinkle little star and, and other lullabies. In terms of the Disney ones, Lion King is super, super popular. Woody from Toy Story, which I have right here. Um, definitely the princesses. So we have a Ariel from Little Mermaid. We have Cinderella and we have um, Elsa from Frozen launched last November and it was it was mania. It was crazy. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of the other characters, we're definitely bringing in more more literary Tonys. So we just launched um, a little bit before Easter. We launched Peter Rabbit. That was extremely popular. So it was multiple Beatrix Potter stories narrated, um, which was really great. So I think it, it honestly really depends. People gravitate towards um, so many different ones. It's interesting, actually. Um, Julia Donaldson, who's the author... Um, of the Gruffalo, we have several of her characters. Um, we have Zog, um, as well as Room on the Broom. And Room on the Broom, um, I think, launched in the January timeframe. And it's typically a Halloween sort of seasonal book, but that was extremely popular. And we had it available and fans went crazy for that even in January. So really, and there's such a wide variety of interest. I think right now, families are just eager to have as many Tonys as they can. We've really been pleasantly surprised even beyond our beyond our expectations that families are really ready to grow out a library of these and we're really committed to right. continue to add Tonys to continue to add interesting licenses and also really to add Tonys for older children as well as younger children so we're getting more into into nonfiction and educational content um, and then content for kind of the the younger toddler set as well some early childhood books and mm -hmm. shows so those are definitely those are definitely in the works um, and families are asking for those. So we're, we're happy to, to help. Yeah. And I love, I mean, I love the app. Um, just, you know, I think the app is, um, it's so easy to use. I mean, really the whole, everything is so easy to use. It's so user-friendly, you know, even mm -hmm. the setup is so simple, takes very, very little time. So that for parents just, you know, in case you're like, oh gosh, another yes. toy I've got to set up takes very little time, very, very easy. Um, and you can keep your library, your own personal library of Tony's, right? All organizing, it's all mm -hmm. kind of, all that information is uh, lives on the app. So um, you can see exactly what you're getting on each Tony because um, the content is outlined right. in the app. Yeah, the app is extremely user-friendly, as you said. What's really nice, I mean, I think people are nervous about, oh, like how is, how is my mom going to figure out like the grandparents and to figure out how to send a story? But it's basically as simple as hitting a button and recording a voice memo. That's really all it is. And the app does the rest of the work. Um, I also do want to speak to the kind of the setup and the Wi-Fi component of the boxes. It's also, it's a super secure experience for the child. The Wi-Fi usage actually doesn't have to continue while the child's using the box. Um, Wi-Fi is needed to set up um, the box on the app um, and also to add creative content. But in terms of ongoing use, the child can be in the car, um, the child can use this traveling on a plane, they can be at the grandparents' house, and it actually doesn't have to be connected to Wi-Fi. So it's totally safe and off the grid in that sense. I know a lot of people have kind of privacy concerns with Wi-Fi connected toys. Um, so I wanted to highlight that too, that for, for the child that they actually don't need to be connected and the parent can really control that experience. So it's the polar opposite of kind of when we hear that story is about like the child having to like 
make in-app purchases and all you you hear all these kind of crazy things or just right. or just a security issue. So none of that really happens with the Tony box, which is really nice. Um, we do also have a few parental settings in the app. For example, the parent can decide that I don't want it to go past 50% volume and kind of put that parental volume control on there. So there's a few little things like that. And we're constantly adding new features to the app. Um, also to support families with their use of the Creative Tonys, we're constantly adding free content that's available to download to the Creative Tonys. And that includes educational content, seasonal content. We just had a song for Daylight Savings Time, for example, that was really cute. So just newness and freshness for families throughout the year, again, to add to their library besides all of their content Tonys. Right, yeah, 90 minutes, that's a lot of space on that Creative Tony. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised though. People people fill it and then they need multiple creative Tonys. That's why they've launched the different ones. And they want one just for like things from grandma. Like some people want yeah. to sort them out where like this is a grandma Tony. And when the child picks up this one, they know there's content from grandma. So like families have right. super, super creative ways to to kind of utilize the creative Tonys. I'm constantly surprised by by the things everyone comes up with. Yeah. And now have you 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 have the creative Tony there with you. So with your with your daughter, what have you sort of recorded on it um, for her? So we've kind of used it um, for kind of transitions and moments throughout the day. So for example, this is a message I recorded for her. Hi, Chloe. It's time for bed. Get ready. We're going to read a book <laughs> and then you're going to go to sleep. So like things like that, the fairy is a little message from my husband about like it's time for dinner. So we actually um, within Tony's, we have a program called Tony's for Teachers. And we're actually having these um, utilized in a lot of early education classrooms and nursery schools and kindergartens and teachers are using these for circle time, for transition times, for kind of rewards throughout the day, for when they do centers where like the Tony box will provide directions to the kids and it comes from the fairy. So it's really fun for them. So I've sort of in my home used it a little bit in that way of kind of, yeah, those toddler difficult transition moments where like right. it comes from the Tony instead of from me. So like brushing teeth or getting ready for bed or getting ready for dinner, like feels more fun and playful. Um, and she's so just used to using the box that she'll, she'll put that one on and she knows what it means. And She'll listen to the Tony box. So that that's how I use it a lot in my home. Um, but also like my husband's parents are in France, so they they're able to record wow. things for her. Um, we're also trying to teach her a little bit of French. So I mean, I love the counting songs, content in different languages, but more of that. So like messages from his parents in French and things like that. Right. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love how it's connecting people. And especially during this time, I mean, I think, you know, so many people, even that live uh, you know, within just a couple miles of each other, aren't able to see each other, um, you know, given the time that we're in. Um, so this is such an awesome way, I think, to keep people connected and make, you know, uh, someone who's not in your child's everyday life still a part of it. Um, and love that, you know, they can record kind of whatever they want, uh, birthday messages, um, you know, good night messages. Very, very sweet. And you talked a little bit about using this in the classroom. So mm -hmm. this is also um, something that, you know, teachers, I think, should really look into, like you said, as kind of prompts throughout the day. Um, also as, you know, a fun kind of, uh, you know, could be a creative, um, you know, kind of incentive for them um, that they get Tony's time at the end of the day to make up exactly. their own stories, which I love. Um, and so many Tony's to collect and kind of keep around the classroom. Um, now you've recently rolled out the Sleepy Time Tony's, which is not only great for kids, but also for, for infants. So tell me a little bit about that product. Yeah, so the Sleepy Time Tony's um, is basically a way of utilizing our existing Tony box, but for, for younger children. So mm -hmm. we do have on the box that the product's for three and up, but that's really more for fully independent use. That said, um, we were hearing from many families who were telling us we're using this with our one-year-old or two-year-old, like they love it before bedtime. And so this was really speaking to that about like adding even more value to the existing Tony box um, system for those families with younger children. So a lot of times it was siblings where there were two age children and they were both using it. So essentially it uses the same Tony box. And then we have a bundle of three special sleepy time Tonys. So um, one is a two hour white noise Tony. One is nature sounds also two hours. And then our bedtime songs and lullaby, which is about an hour of content. So it's kind of that that trio really focused on nap time and bedtime routines because we were hearing from so many families that were using this for that purpose um, and just asking, is it okay for us to use this with younger children? So definitely we have right. 
parents of newborns who are using this as kind of a fixture in their nursery. So instead of buying kind of one of those little like stuffed animal sound soothers that you put on the crib, this is a nice fixture that you can put on the on the shelf in the nursery. And then as the child gets older, they can kind of grow into using it for independent play and using kind of the the rest of the library of Tony's. But it's a it's a nice um, additional use case for the product. Um, we've heard really great things about the white noise. I consulted with a sleep specialist who is just really behind behind the system from a like fostering routines perspective. And also, of course, because it does eliminate that that use of blue light. So she even told me um, that her daughter, she's sung her the same song before bed since she was born and she's nine now. And when she goes away, someone has it on a voice memo, like on an iPhone. So she's used the creative Tony for that, which is really amazing because again, that eliminates that, that, that screen light that she was concerned about, but still kind of gives that same experience. So when they do buy the sleepy time bundle of Tony's, they still buy the regular Tony box and they still do get that creative Tony. So that's kind of the additional part of the system of using the three existing bedtime Tonys and then using the creative Tony to kind of create that bedtime experience, whether it be a favorite story or a family song or what have you. Right, right. Yeah, I know. I mean, I just, I have nieces and nephews and, and um, you know, bedtime can be a bit of a struggle um, yeah. when, you know, I'm with them. Um, so I love that this, again, a great incentive, whether it's bedtime or bath time, it's like, hey, this is your time to wind down mm -hmm. to you know enjoy some story time or enjoy you know a message from a parent and just get comfortable um and again no screens involved which which we love especially before bed exactly. um and and tell me is there an auto shut off on this like if you leave it in the room with the child will it turn off on its own so um when the tony is done playing it it will mm -hmm. turn off so um with some of these that means a half an hour um with my with my Creative Tony, once it, if I haven't filled the space, it's if once it plays the few tracks that I've recorded, it'll stop. So at the end of the content, it'll shut off. So for the, for the white noise and nature sounds, that would be two hours for the lullabies. That would be about an hour, but then, um, it, it'll depend on the content on the specific Tony, but yes, it will, will shut off. It'll go to sleep. It'll just stay on the shelf or wherever it is. And there won't be any, any disruption of, of noise during the night. Right. And parents don't need to pop back in to make sure that it's turned off. Or anything Correct. Like that. It'll it'll just go to sleep right on its own. Great. Um, now, Melissa, what can we expect from Tony's in the future? Sure. Um, well, we're definitely launching more accessories. The headphones just launched about two weeks ago and have yeah. been extremely popular. Um, we're working on a lot of other accessories specific to the U.S. market and sort of our, our needs here. Um, we've gotten tons of requests for carrying cases. We've gotten requests for display shelves. So we're working on a variety of accessories and then really just expanding the Tony's portfolio. So again, like the biggest problem we have is just getting more Tony's to families. Like there's such a demand right now. Um, and Germany, as I said, they've launched about 300. Um, our initial portfolio, a lot of those were kind of American versions of the ones that were in Europe, but we're really committed to a diverse and inclusive portfolio for the US that really reflects the population here. We're mm -hmm. working on content in different languages. We've gotten a ton of requests for that. Um, more nonfiction and educational content. So the Sleepy Time Bundle sort of catered to the younger set. Um, we're also kind of aging up uses for the box because we have heard from families of like, my, my nine, 10, 11 year old also really enjoys this and what, what content can we add for them? So we're working on kind of that more nonfiction and educational content and then tons more licenses. So children's literature, sort of those big popular preschooler set books in the US, um, also early childhood television shows that are popular and specific to the US beyond just Disney. And then of course there will be more Disney. There's tons of tons of appetite to have more princesses and, and more Disney characters. So all of that is coming. Um, as I said, these take sometimes a year or two years to, to, to bring to the market just because they are so detailed and so true to the character, especially if it's a licensed character. So mm -hmm. they do take some time, but especially in the back half of the year, in some months, we'll have three or four new Tonys launching. This will really be consistent over the next several years. So I think families are going to be really happy with what's coming. We constantly get requests in our inbox for certain characters. And we can't share them, but there's mm -hmm. almost, almost all of the characters we get asked about are in the works. It's just a matter of when, but we're definitely <laughs> constantly listening to our, our U.S. Tony's families and, and what they're interested in and sort of following what launches do really well. And we'll continue to expand the portfolio that way. So I'm really excited about some of the, the American children's TV shows coming to life with the Tony box. Um, my daughter asks for 
many of many of her favorite characters and we're we're definitely working on that so it'll be really exciting to see the next few years evolve yeah very exciting and just one last question for you melissa on a personal note because you mentioned your daughter i would just love to know kind of what it's meant for you and your husband to watch her you know uh learn and grow and develop with the tonys yeah i mean it's so amazing because in the eight or nine months she's been using it, I feel like her her verbal skills have just exploded and she's really, mm-hmm. she's at that age. But um, I think it's really fostered her her independence, her confidence. I just see that she loves doing things herself and there are so many things we can't let her do herself because it's maybe right. not safe. Um, but this is something that like we can feel good about. We don't have to worry about hovering over her. We know the box isn't going to hurt her. There's no sharp parts. There's no real like electrical current coming out where we have to worry. So it's just amazing as a parent, I think, especially during COVID, like we've all been home, we've all been in very tight quarters. And I think a lot of parents too, like don't even have a moment to themselves these days. So for one, like as a mom, just honestly, I appreciate being able to give her something that I can feel good about that I know she's enjoying that also like can give me 15 minutes to prep dinner or or whatever I need to take care of. So that's really great. And then as a bonus, like she's talking up a storm and she's really enjoying herself and she's laughing and she's singing along with the song. She twinkle, twinkle, little stars, her favorite song. That's definitely because of the bedtime songs and lullabies, Tony. That's for sure how she learned it. And wheels on the bus is probably her second favorite, which is also from a Tony. So it's, it's really nice to kind of hear her just pick up on that repetition and remember things and start to get better at pronouncing words. So yeah, it's really, it's been phenomenal. And it's so amazing to work for a company where it's really, the goal is really to make children happy and empower parents. And I, I, I'm able to benefit from that personally. Amazing. Well, that is a great note for us to end on. So Melissa, thank you so much for joining me here today on Beta Insider. Thank you so much, Noelle. It was a pleasure. And we're excited to continue to grow with Beta. Yeah, so are we. We're so happy to have uh, Tony's in our inventory here at Beta. You can go on to beta.com to get your Tony's starter set. It retails for $99.99. We have it in three of Tony's most popular colors. Um, We also have uh, Tony's available, both creative and content Tony's. The creative Tony's retail for $11.99. The uh, the content Tony's, excuse me, retail for $14.99. But head on over to tonys.com as well to learn more about the brand and also to see uh, you know, all of the Tonys that are offered um, and six of the of the Tonys colors are all available on Tonys.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know you're going to love this product, so check it out. And we'll see you again back here in the Beta TV studio very soon for more episodes from Beta TV.